in need of a facial, who do you call? Well, if you're Oprah or Michelle Obama, you call skincare expert Jennifer Brodeur. <laughs> Michelle Obama on your client list, just I, everyone will be like, oh my goodness, you know? That I said it to the audience and they were really excited to meet you. And what I need to know is how did this whole start? Uh, how did it all start? How did the relationship start? Because you've been their facialist for years. For years. And, and a lot of people just assume that it's a one-time kind of thing and I met her in a hallway and that was it. <laughs> and it really doesn't work like that. So long story short, I was working in LA a lot. Yeah. Um, and Miss Winfrey had heard about me. And we have technology, so a machine that we created that's called Max out in 2003 oh. in 40 countries around the world. And she'd heard about the machine. Okay. Um, and so, yeah, so she wanted to meet with me and I thought I'd meet her. And that would be that. And seven years later, I'm still around, so it's wonderful. I, yeah. Like, I know that you guys probably want information on skincare, but don't you want more information on Oprah and Michelle Obama? <laughs> I'm not alone. So this machine that you created, yes. do they each own the machine, and do you do the facials in their homes? Yes, exactly. So what we did is we, we set up, you know, I just feel all women deserve sort of the best. Mm -hmm. So if we're able to have an area where the, it's safe for them and they don't have to be around other, because you're solicited so much. So we set up the home, so I go there and everything's there and I have my treatment rooms and I take care of them in their private homes. So what are they like? They're wonderful. I mean, they're, they're, they're as wonderful as, as you would think. Yes, very much so. Oh, that's so good to yeah. hear. Yeah. Now, how does this machine work? So Max is an LED device. So we work with different wavelengths of the visible light spectrum to yeah. help work on the skin. So whether it be blemishes or age management or redness or what have you. And it's completely safe and non-invasive. Yeah. So we are really good at preparing for like book launches or right. book tours or, you know, or speaking engagements. So, and they're, they're being made up all the time. So it's important that they're always looking their best. That's right. So yeah. a ton of makeup all the time. So exactly. when you're hanging out with Malia and Sasha and the Portuguese water dog and Barack, um, how long are you usually at their homes for? It could be for a day, depending on any given time that I'm there, or a few days. Okay, so, very yeah. cool. Yeah. Okay, so t talk to me a little bit about your approach to skincare. So I'm very different. So I've been in the business for 23 years. Mm -hmm. I started as a teacher. I taught biology and chemistry. So I'm not mm -hmm. your... You know, it's a little different. So my whole point of view is I look at your skin and I try to look into it three-dimensionally and I would cut you up in eight sections uh -huh. and see how I can treat your skin so that we manage the age process. So I don't believe in, in turning back the time because that's physiologically impossible. Mm -hmm. So my objective is what can I do with what you have? I try to project myself in six years down the line and what we can do to make you look your best to you in the most natural possible way. That's a healthy approach. Very, yeah, very much so. Yeah, and like at first that. it wasn't cool, right? So when mm -hmm. I was talking this way 23 years ago, people thought I was a little crazy. Mm -hmm. And now it's finally coming to be a thing where people are, are being, because I think aging is a privilege. Mm -hmm. That's denied to so many. So if we can embrace that process, yes. it makes a huge difference. So. What are you looking for in people? Like, let's say you, you were going to section me up. Yeah. What are you asking me to figure, <laughs> to figure out well, what I, I need? Well, I look a lot of stuff. So I'll look okay. at your lifestyle, how much makeup you get put on a day, what yeah. makeup is being put on, what shampoo you're using. Shampoo? Yeah, that's vital to me. Okay. Um, Why? Shampoo, because when you're rinsing your shampoo, it's touching all of your body, right? And oh. your cheeks and your neck. So we'll see a lot of issues there as well. Okay. So I really look at your whole lifestyle, what you're eating, yes. how much you're sleeping, because uh -oh. sleep is the best. Yeah. Um, and then what you're drinking, because coffee doesn't count as water. I've tried. So <laughs> it doesn't work. So, like, what are you doing? And then we, we sit down and then we make a skin strategy over three to four pages. Yeah. And then I hold myself accountable to make a change in your skin within the next six months. And then my clients will also hold themselves accountable because they need to do a part of the work, right? They need to make the yeah. changes on what they're putting exactly. in their body. And what they're putting on. So okay. it's a bit of both. Okay, so your advice to us, you've got to change up your diet, and I just want to quickly touch on take warm, short showers as opposed to long, hot ones. Why? Yes, well, with the change of climate right now, winter's on its way. The hot air is taking all the humidity out of the air that's around you, so your skin yeah. is drying up. So if you can get a humidifier with cold air in your bedrooms while you're sleeping, yes. tip number one, it's amazing. And then you don't want to have that hot water because it's going to dry you up, and it's just going to make your winter horrible. You know so. what I'm going to do? I'm going to put all of your tips on our website, cityline.tv. So go there for all of Jennifer's amazing tips. And she's also brought her toner, L'Essence by JB Skin Guru, for everyone in today's audience. Thank you so Thank much. You so much and I wish me. you continued success.